South Shore Conservatory is the largest nonprofit community school for the arts in Massachusetts, offering robust programs for music, dance, and drama for over half a century. In January, the Board of Trustees announced the appointment of the conservatory's fourth president, Robert Sinanti. Julie invited Robert on via Zoom to talk about what's next for SSC. Robert, welcome. Thank you for joining us and congratulations on being named the president of the South Shore Conservatory. Thank you for having me. It's great, great to be here today. It's great to have you here. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you ended up in this wonderful position? Sure. Well, I feel very lucky to have ended up in this position. Uh, music education has been a part of my whole life. Uh, when I, when I think back, you know, going back to my early childhood, music has always been so central to everything that I've done. I came up as a, a young musician myself, as a flutist and then a singer. I actually studied in the Boston area at the New England Conservatory. But at a certain point in my life, I decided to go in a different direction into arts leadership. And I've worked with several organizations, starting in the, the Boston area, and then at the Virginia Opera, and most recently in Connecticut as the executive director of the Waterbury Symphony Orchestra. And when this opportunity came up to, to come to an organization like this one, I was just so excited because it allowed me to bring front and center my passion for music education and the ability to really make a difference through the arts in, in the community. What a, what a wonderful answer and what a wonderful uh, background you bring to this position. You, you, you've seen music from a lot of different sides, which is wonderful. What kind of research did you do on the conservatory before you took the job? You know, I had actually been familiar with the conservatory uh, prior to taking the job. If I think back to my own time in Boston, I was familiar with the organization and, and familiar with some of its programs, specifically the Duxbury Music Festival. And, you know, it's interesting to, to be interviewing for a job during COVID. Um, almost the entire interview process, actually, really, the entire interview process was conducted virtually. So it, it does feel a little different not to meet people in person. But there was such an incredible amount of due diligence, I think, from both ends, from the conservatory, but also from, from my end. And that included really just getting to know the conservatory through reading about it, through speaking to people, and also, to be honest, just taking a drive up here one day and spending some time getting to know the, the communities that the conservatory serves, um, specifically Hingham and Duxbury, but really all of the South Shore. I think we really have a, a regional presence um, here on the South Shore, serving a larger community. Absolutely, and for people who don't know, exactly what does the South Shore Conservatory offer as, as classes, as per performance, what, what, what is it all about? It, it really offers it all. You know, I think a community music school, it really exists in service to the community. And what I really think it's about, Julie, is offering, in our case, access to exceptional arts education and performances. And it's, you know, youth is obviously a big focus of what we do, starting from a very young age, but it's really meant for children and adults of all ages. It's about lessons, classes, performances, and also a very robust uh, creative arts therapies program. And that's really meant to serve people that uh, learn differently, as well as adults who have uh, certain needs, uh, such as uh, memory loss and, and Parkinson's and, and people where we have an opportunity to heal through music and the arts. So we're, we're really a multifaceted organization. You know, you hear the word conservatory um, and you think, oh, conservatory, you know, that has a certain connotation to it. But really, I think we exist as a resource for the community. That is, that's a wonderful answer. That's great. And music is a universal language and it is a universal healer also. It's been known to do that. Now, during COVID, Absolutely. during COVID where singers can't really sing <laughs> and musicians can't really uh, play instruments as well. How have how have you dealt with this during uh, during all the, the the pandemic so far? Sure. Well, we have actually been open since September, and what we've done is a combination of I would say adjusted in person learning. So you have uh, lessons and classes that are uh, occurring with social distancing, with masks, with a lot of precautions in place around air purification and cleaning. 
And then we also offer all of our uh, students the opportunity to learn virtually. And this is called our high flex model. So it's essentially a hybrid model that allows, again, that opportunity to learn in person or to learn virtually. We're lucky that as the weather warms up, we have two beautiful campuses with a lot of outdoor space. And that allows us to also uh, offer people the opportunity to learn in person outside with, especially with some of the things you've talked about, you know, certain instruments, singing, little riskier um, when it comes to things like, you know, aerosols and spread. Um, so we have to be even more careful with the social distancing, but, you know, hopefully being outside allows us an opportunity to relax a bit. And I also think we're all feeling a little hopeful that as the public health situation is improving, more and more people will want to come back here in person. I think there's a certain magic that exists. Um, while it's great to be able to learn virtually, I think when somebody's in person and face-to-face -face making music and, and learning and sharing, I think there's just something very special about that that can't be replicated virtually. I totally agree. And I think everybody is yearning for that face-to-face -face and, and to be able to watch a concert and watch people sing or perform their musical instruments in person and live and just have eyes on. Absolutely agree. What, what up, upcoming programs are you offering that people could look forward to? I think the biggest thing, Julie, is our summer. Summer is such a special time at the South Shore Conservatory on both campuses, both in Hingham and Duxbury. And while last summer we had to pivot to being virtual, the plan this summer is to be back in person. There's going to be precautions in place. It's not going to be a totally normal summer, but our goal is to welcome students and faculty here on campus for our summer music festival here in Hingham and our evenings under the stars performances, and then our Duxbury music festival down in Duxbury and a whole host of other classes and programs, again, for all ages, starting, you know, as young as age three. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so you take them all the way through. That's wonderful. That's so good. And Absolutely. my last question, I assume that you've relocated to this area? I am in the process of uh, relocating, finding a house in uh, this housing market has, uh, has been a little challenging, but my wife and I are on the verge of uh, hopefully securing something here in the community. And I have to say, we've really taken to this community. We love the South Shore. We love being here. And I really think a role like mine makes sense for me to be here in this community because I see what I'm doing, not just as a job, um, but as an extension of who I am and and really my commitment to the community in the South Shore region. I think it's a great place to live, and I think the conservatory plays an important part in that. Well, the conservatory is incredibly lucky to have you, and so are we as residents of the South Shore. We can't wait to see what, what you come up with. It's been great having you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate the opportunity. Back to you, Elizabeth. If you would like to learn more about South Shore Conservatory, please visit them online at www.sscmusic.org.